Pyramid Studios in Nashville, <laughs> Tennessee. Jason, if you will, Jason's monitoring our YouTube feed. So if you'll verify we're live, it'll make me feel awesome. Spectacular. We are live. Cool. Now, there was no intro in case you're playing along with the uh, home crowd, but uh, we don't need an intro. I'll tell you what we're doing right now before we jump any, into uh, any spectacular uh, concepts. We are on the simulator at the virtual you know what the one thing about this airplane is it will not restart are we, are we in the same room because was that you flying around let me see yeah you're flybo right flaboon yeah 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 so i can't get this plane to reset so i guess i'll get out of it oh that's weird yeah. oh i see you in runway now all right so um <laughs> We've been working closely with the good folks at Horizon Hobby and Real Flight because a lot of events over uh, the season, which we should have already been to and, and uh, posted about and hung out with people at, have been canceled. And so I called up Horizon and I said, look, uh, let's start having some virtual events on RC groups for our pilots to fly at. And I've been changing the fields up, not every day. And I've been trying to find just the right field that would work for everyone. What I want to get to, Jason, is the Eli field. But I'm going to wait till we get closer to what would have been the event at uh, Horizon. And yeah. that, that's in August, right? That's when it usually happens. Um, yeah, it's like late summer. Yeah. Yep. So that's my goal. But it, I uh, I got all this installed about a week ago and got the server rolling. And now I've got a little section and I'm filling it with everything that I know about. In fact, we're, I'm going to land and we're going to. You know, go. I'm going to I'm going to assign you a challenge. OK. For the the uh, Horizon RC Fest virtual fly. And that is for you to design and make a ring of fire. OK. A, I can't thing. do that. But B, <laughs> come on. I know there's no fire option. Although <laughs> I will tell the guys that that should be an option. You should be able to put that. That's a great idea. I'm going to make an email and I'm going to CC all the right people because I happen to have those email addresses. Yes. And I, you know what I'll do? I'll take a screenshot, put the ring of fire superimposed in there. And, yeah. uh, and I'll be like, this has to be a part of the, uh, of yeah. the, of the simulator. We That's a great idea. In the game. That would be uh, so fun. So I thought you were going to talk about a uh, specialized field. And so, you know, I did the specialized field for Joe Nall, and I'm not doing that for this because people had to download the field and uh -huh. then to go to it. And I thought, well, man, wouldn't it be easier if people didn't have to download a field? Yeah. Uh, if, if anyone has any opinions on that, please let me know. I'm happy to download a field. Jason, while we're here, why don't we uh, give ourselves some uh, something we need to do on this field? Uh, a, a challenge like hover under the gazebo oh where's the okay so this I'm gonna, looks, is this a photo realistic field no this must be 3d i'm gonna go view it follow looks stinking photo realistic in these trees am i in the right place chase i, I see you be. i haven't seen you flying i i'm oh I'm no in, you're right i'm in the air right now i can't do the chase okay I was like, these, these, this is amazing graphics for 3D rendered. This is a real place somewhere. This is Liars Field. Yeah. Actually, but I am yeah, okay. able to watch my airplane. Uh, I changed it to Chase. I didn't think it worked, but I'm obviously working. So I'm going to try to go under the gazebo. Well, that's going to be bad for this airplane since this airplane doesn't like to restart. <laughs> yeah. Well, Oh, okay. okay. So it's behind us. The I'm gazebo wrong. is behind me. Where okay. are you at, Jason? I am uh, at the gazebo. Oh, I just ran into the gazebo. Beautiful. And I'm down on the ground. Let me go find you. you right, I'm going oh, no. to start, I'm I'm gonna start in a hover. Do you got me? No. Look at. There we go. Look at. Fly boat. Okay. Now I'm on it. Oh, are you on some weirdo airplane? Uh, I'm on the extreme flight. Yeah, Ed no. Owen. Pick a pick a stock airplane. What? Okay. All I, all I see is your name. Well, that's weird. All right, we're going to what? What should I fly, everybody? Tell me in the chat. Uh, what's a regular airplane? It must be hot out here. Etienne is sucking <laughs> to the uh, asphalt. 
<laughs> now I see. Uh, I don't see you at all. I see you way out by the trees. Uh, that's weird. I'm on the runway, but I'm currently in menu looking for okay. Uh, something else to fly. What about this E3D? Everyone, um, boy, I still don't see you. I'm so, are, are you in Real Flight Nine? I'm in Real Flight Eight. Okay, me too. Um, go to multiplayer and then go to join, and then you'll find us there. By the way, if you're watching oh, live, I thought you were telling me. PAU Edge, they suck. <laughs> it's a good airplane. I still well, can't see you. I don't I, see any airplanes now. I don't understand. Uh, I can't log out because I'll turn the whole damn thing off. Man, you <laughs> can't say damn on here, everyone. Jason, I'm going to log multiplayer off and back on. Okay, well, I will still be here. Disconnect. Yeah, I just got disconnected. Host. Hosting now. Well, then. Isn't that special? Anybody else in the chat uh, able to jump on real flight right now? And what we could do is put uh, all this uh, virtual fun on hold and, and discuss the F3K championships. Join. Because the champion of the F3K is going to join us in this call. Really? Okay, okay, everybody. So we have the uh, champion of the F3K. Jason, I was at the field on Monday and they were like, Jason, Jason, did he, what did he do? Hold on. Let me, let me get close in on oh, here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Check it. And they ask if you won something and we're, we're like, yeah, you got a uh, plaque. Yeah. My mom called. Well, she saw it on Facebook and then she called and uh, she says, was there any money in that? I'm like, no, mom. It's more of a prestige thing. Right. <laughs> I didn't win $10,000, which would have been amazing. Well, Jason has uh, gone to many events and come home without anything. Or no, no, no. Let me, that's not how I, I said it to the guys. I said he will have been running in first the whole time and then a bird will fly into his plane. Or <laughs> yeah. he'll, he'll be in third, nudging up to second, and then fall back to fourth. And then uh, so something is always uh, happening. And so this is the first time you've taken home the gold, right? Well, I've, I've won one other contest. Um, and so this was my second win ever in F3K. Which is awesome because, yeah, you're right. Like, I'll do it. Normally, they're like two day contests, and I'll just crush it on the first day. And I'll be sitting in like first or second or third in the after the first day. And then the second day will come, and the weather changes, and I just totally blow it. And I end up, you know, still in, you know, sometimes I've, I've gotten second place, third place. I've, I've gotten a bunch of top placements, but uh, only two wins so far. But the cool thing here is, and it's kind of good for, for us as a US group of pilots and flyers because Nathan Bartley, who was on the USA team with me at the world championships, and he lives in North Carolina. So we're close enough that we get to a lot of the same competitions and he's won a lot of competitions. His, his thing is like, Oh, uh, the possum toss is like the only one I haven't got a first place in yet. And I'm like, man, that was the only one I've won a first place in so far. And uh, so he's really good. He was fourth in the world. Um, he's the two-time national champion from the previous two years. And so we're always like duking it out at these events. We're, we're great friends, um, love each other. And, uh, but it's, all, it's also a good like rivalry of competing, you know, and uh, just to have that top level kind of people pushing you. So he was there again and um, I beat him. You know, it was the second time I've, I've beaten him. And it feels really good, like to know you beat the fourth best pilot in the world, and that says something, you know. And there were some great pilots. Oleg, it wasn't like COVID was here and, and none of the good pilots came. There was a lot of great pilots there, so it really is a real win for me. So I'm happy for it. So does this mean you're definitely going to the worlds? No, no, no. So uh, we have to select a team again through the same process, and it's done through competition. So we were supposed to have the team select in September at the Possum Toss in Tullahoma. And we've got a couple of guys that were really high level pilots that were like, look, we can't travel because work implemented a like a 14 day quarantine if we go out of the state and I wouldn't be able to work. I can't lose my, you know, whatever. I can't come. And they were like, well, that's not really fair um, to have the team select if we can't get the best team there to try out. So. 
Uh, they've pushed it into February now. It'll be in February in Florida, down in Orlando. Hopefully by then we'll see what the state of affairs are. It could get postponed again. But unless the world's cancels, it's next summer. So we kind of got to get a team pretty quickly, start getting the preparations going, uh, fundraising, all that, all that stuff that's got to happen for the team to be able to go, whether I'm on it or not. Um, so unless they cancel it, it's on next summer. So we've got to, we're pushing it pretty late to, to do the team select due to the situation, but that's that. But yeah, I'm going to try out. I'm excited for it. Uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can make it. I would love to be able to do that and go to the worlds again and, and uh, have a little bit better showing than I did last year at 50 something place. I think I can do a little better. Jason, I'm so. trying to make a F3K champ title for you here. <laughs> Although I've never uh, done this before, so I can't. Yeah, fun. It's Bruce Bruce Davison was like, you should make everybody refer to you as champ for the next year. It's get... pretty cool. I mean, it's a cool accolade in in the soaring world, you know. So yeah, I was I was super pumped and excited. A little bit surreal, but yeah. Awesome. Um, by the way, everyone, we have pictures right here. Yeah, I covered at the Nats. We actually had the national competition for a lot of the soaring, and uh, it was great. So I did the F3K, we did F5J, and the Unlimited. So I was able to attend and cover and provide photos and some dialogue, some discussion um, for all those, all three of those events. It was six days in Muncie. What do you and think it this felt guy, pretty normal, man. What do you think this guy's thinking? What's he thinking? He's like, hmm. hmm. Should I put the white on the outside? By the way, it? Jason, I was a little surprised that you weren't totally uh, getting, uh, you know, you won. Yeah. And I, and I would think you would be a spreeing all over the place, you know, just like, because uh, that's, you're sponsored by a spree. For no, well, I'm not really sponsored by, Jetty, Jetty did provide the transmitter for, uh, for review on RC Groups, which I've done. And I am sponsored by uh, Team Concept and KST Servos. Gotcha. So okay. I was flying yes. the CX-5 airplanes and uh, with KST servos and was able to kind of say, hey, look, look what happened with this stuff. You know, so that was Gotcha. Cool. Gotcha. I was not aware of the specifics. So how was the weather? Was it hot, hot, hot? It, no, it was actually awesome. Like it was, I didn't camp for the first time ever. I, I you know, I wanted to camp and I went to camp and then ended up uh, having a hotel room available for dirt cheap. Um, so I just, I shared a room, uh, with a buddy of mine, Scott, and we did that, but it was beautiful camping weather, like in the upper sixties at night. And it was only in like the eighties during the day. I think one day it was only upper seventies. It was quite nice in Muncie for the summer in, in lieu of the 90 degree, hundred degree temperatures we've had in the past where you're just about to die and, you know, soaking in water any chance you get, but this is the so greatest photo beautiful. of the event right here. Yeah, man, that's Noah Myers. He is likely going to be your U.S. Uh, he's the, he is the U.S. junior champion, but he will also likely be the world champion at the Worlds on the junior team. It's his last year. He's going to age out after this next season uh, for the juniors. But he's already, like, almost out launching me, probably is out launching me. So he's going to be really good. That's Gavin. Gavin, Gavin is the man. Yep. Yeah. Gavin Trussell, and then that's Nathan Bartley in the USA shirt behind him. Jason, will you wear a mask? What will be the logo on the mask? You know, I don't know. I'm definitely not wearing a – well, I do wear a mask when I fly um, F3K, and it's mainly – I've been wearing a mask for years for that because of the sun. So we wear those face shields, um, I don't know, neck gaiters, something. But people call them all kinds of different things. But, yeah, I, I usually wear one of those when I'm flying or timing – um, just to, just to, because I burn like nobody's business. You can still probably see how burnt my nose is. I wore my mask all the time when I was out in the sun flying. And then I realized, Hmm, the next day I got super burned in my nose. It was just Rudolph red. And I was like, what happened? Like I put sunscreen on like twice. I wore the mask like every time I was out in the sun, what happened? And then I realized my, uh, my old tent isn't blocking the sun as well as it might have oh, one day wow. years past. Cause you can look at the shade of my tent versus the shade of somebody else's tent. And it's 
like very dim compared to their very dark shade. So I was getting, I would go back to my tent and take the mask off because I'm under cover now, right? And and be able to breathe and chill and stuff. And and I was getting sunburned the whole time sitting there. So lesson learned. Jason, are you playing on, video man. poker over there? What is that? No, this is a uh, front door alerts saying probably my wife's taking the, the little puppy out for a bathroom break. Oh, well, I've got a front door. Hey, hey as well. you are good. <laughs> you just won $100. Hold on. Come on. Hey, we got chair. some people in the uh, chat now, huh? Or in the, Do we? in the virtual fly. All right. Welcome, everybody. I know some people from the uh, hangout chat said they were going to go in there. Let's jump over there. Yeah. If you're looking so, for a 3D profile, man, this thing's pretty awesome. Oh, dang. I couldn't see it. No wonder. I think the mask uh, FC there, let me, I'll pull it up real quick. I think it was, um, it's like SA company. SA company mask. Yeah. So if you go to safishing.com. I guess they try to sell to fishermen people, which is why they got fishing in. But they've got face shields and masks. They've got a whole bunch of them. I think when I bought mine, yeah, they still have that same deal. Like 20 bucks, you get five of them. They, they say buy one, get four free. Um, but it's 20 bucks for five, and you can – all kinds of different colors to choose from. I'm really happy with them. I wash them in the washer and dryer just like normal to keep them clean and, and uh, you can breathe through it. It does fog up your glasses if you're wearing glasses. Um so you have to either pull your glasses out or do something. I cut a slit in one of mine where my nose is so I can breathe without fogging the glasses if I'm wearing it. But yeah, I, I recommend those. They've been really good for me. Safishing.com. There you go. We're going to look at Okay, Carlos. All right, Carlos, you're on. No crashing, bro. Everything Jason, working now? Jason, you got to mute that watch, man. Okay, well, it is muted. Oh, I gotta alerts. mute mine too. Oh, okay. There you go. Carlos, you're flying some interesting bird that we don't have access to. Oh, is that right? So, what is it? What do you see when you see it? Uh, oh, it looks like the blue A wire wireframe. This wireframe thing. Yeah. Jason, I, I told you. Talk, yeah. Go for it. Go About ahead. praying in my finger the last time we were on here. Praying in your finger. Yeah, when I showed you my finger all taped up. Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, I didn't hear what happened. Oh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay. It's terrible, terrible tragedy. Oh, no. What were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say, you know, it's been a while since I've busted out real flight, probably since the last time we did a, a virtual fly thing. And every time I get back on it, I'm like, man, this is so much fun. It is. Like to have just dedicated time to to play and play around and practice and, and not worry about airplanes and weather and all that jazz. It's funny. I still can't see your airplane. Are, are you flying? I'm flying right now. Yeah. Huh? And it's a stock airplane. So Look at my airplane. Who, who knows? Who knows? Okay. We're going to get off this field for a second and go check something out. Cause it'll be awesome. I got access, speaking of real flight, to the newest. Now, I don't know, man. It was I was like, should I? Can I do a review on this? And they were like, yeah, go right ahead. So I got early, early access to the real flight trainer edition. Oh, uh, yeah. So right now it's on Steam, but you can't buy it. And there is no price. And so I'm not sure there's a question. What's the price? Um, <laughs> basically, this is all the, well, maybe not all, but most of the recent beginner airplanes from Horizon with Safe and LAS. And I talk about that in the video and I will go take a look because I can't, sh I could share the screen, but then I would have to, uh, I'd have to throw everyone off the other, uh, the, kill the, yeah, I'll kill, kill the flight eight to do it. Kill yeah, the yeah. multiplayer. So here's some screenshots, but let's go into my video. Let's see if the audio is coming in. Yeah, the and, and so they don't have a price, but you don't you don't know what the price Everyone is going to be. Everyone, Jimmy Graham with rcgroups.com, and today I'm doing something Not yet. pretty cool. Not this yet. is a first okay. look. At the, so I'm going to mute it. So basically, you can go on it's Steam really and look funny, up man. Real Flat Trainer Edition, and um, it it all takes place at Eli Field. These are the airplanes that you get: the Apprentice, the New Habu, the Aero Scout, which is awesome, Carbon Cub, 
And then one airplane that really surprised me. And so the other thing that comes with this are a series of instruction videos from taxiing to takeoff to flying the habu to using safe. Let me okay. turn volume on. Taking off. So now that we've taxied into position or ready for takeoff, uh, we can advance the throttle. And in this case, we are flying from grass, so it will take a little more throttle to get the airplane rolling and then to get it off of the ground. So we're going to can slowly you hear that, advance the throttle. Uh, I hear See nothing. Here, the yeah, the user's starting to roll. Be sure to look at okay. that transmitter. Advance the throttle a little bit more. And when we get so that's Jason Merkel, and he is teaching you how to fly. And who better than Jason Merkel, right? Exactly. And, and so there's a series of videos, and every time you complete a video, uh, you get credit for that. And then it also unlocks future videos. Gonna... Experience mode. Flying off a grass surface today, so we do need to add a little bit of So, like, this is the taxi video. Flying from a... If I can get an E-Flight Apprentice with LAS. And so then there's all your airplanes that you can pick. So when you buy this, these are the only airplanes available in the pack. Okay. So you can get the apprentice or the apprentice with landing assist and GPS. I'm not exactly sure how GPS works. GPS creates a geofence. So you can't, your airplane will not fly away. Yeah. From, let's say the airfield and the serious? land, the landing assist is pretty cool. And I show that here. Uh, this is a visual of the GPS function of the fence. It's like, Jason, you know, when we learned to fly, none of this existed, and they've thought of everything they could possibly think of. It looks like wireless control line, if you ask me. Well, I guess you could <laughs> let go of it and fly to the corners. Just let it fly circles around the geofence. Make your GPS 20 feet, you know, 20 feet away from you. <laughs> yeah. Yay, and then you, yay. And then you uh, fly it around yourself and you turn with it. Now let's see and if you this hold is your hand out. Flare. Let's watch it. So this is a hands-off landing. And if it's not going fast enough, there it'll actually uh, hit the throttle. The yeah. Airplane. Yeah. It's cool. Amazing. And uh, yeah. so what I did is I went through, I was assuming that beginners were looking at this and I showed them what uh, beginner mode looked like, hard bank left, hard bank right, intermediate mode looked like, hard bank right, and so then pretty cool. uh, so experience. Let's go fly some airplanes. Let's go. And then I, then I go through all the airplanes and we just fly them around the field. What do we have here? So SC's asking, he has, he has Real Flight 8, the full edition. Um, he's asking if the trainer edition, does the trainer edition have anything that the full doesn't have? No, in fact, um, everything's limited in the trainer edition. The only, the only thing that it would have would be these instructional videos and um, all these beginner airplanes, which might be in your full edition, Horizon edition. Yeah, or downloadable probably, if not already there. So this, and once again, I, I will reach out and find out what the pricing is going to be. This will be available in about six days. Um, let's not go okay. to the helicopter just yet. Let's go to the... Yeah, that's cool, man. Sport Cup. Okay, so the Sport Cup was interesting to me because it was... I've never guess I've flown a Sport Cup. Mm -hmm. And it's just so little. And uh, you could, like, fly it in your backyard if you had a big... Yeah, it's kind of like... You remember how good the uh, champ was? Mm-hmm. The park uh, zone champ, I think it was. This is like this is kind of like the new champ. And I great, did awesome rail trainer airplane. I had a neighbor kid come over to the house and he bought a champ. And I took him to the local schoolyard and we flew it until he killed it. We didn't kill it that day though, but um, it did feel like that. But the next airplane, I want to say, really surprised me. So one of my points was, I'm gonna turn my volume off here. One of my points was. Not only do you, let's say you can't fly at all and you get Jason Merkel teaching you to fly, um, you can also fly all these different variations of beginner planes. And so by the time you're done, you might know which airplane you want to go spend $300 on. Yeah. 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 Seriously. And, and so as a guy who's flown a lot, a lot of Horizon airplanes, this airplane coming up really surprised me. Let's see. If okay. You where is it? So I flew the helicopter and that did not go so well. This airplane, <laughs> what is this? Let me what is it. that? Is that the Sport Cub? Is that what it is? I can go right looks here. Like the the, the bigger version of it looks like. So I'm going to be in the menu in just one second. And I'm going to pick it out. And it is. <laughs> <the> Somebody's. <laughs> Who is that? I can't see who it is. So somebody in real flight got the same airplane as me and parked it in formation right next to me and is waggling their ailerons as I was just kind of fidgeting. Yeah, yeah. My ailerons and they're copying me. 
All right, we're going to take off. Let's see if we can fly some formation. This is the Carbon uh, Cub S Plus 1.3, and I don't know what it retails for, but I would buy it. And so we'll jump back out to the airfield right now, but um, you can see this whole review on RC Groups, and the question is where? Go to oh, RC. Oh, see. Okay. Sorry. Go to rcgroups.com at the very top. It says Real Flight Virtual Fly. Click into that, and then you'll see all my Real Flight stuff that I've populated this with. And the uh, Trainer Edition is right here. And that's 498 views since yesterday, and that's pretty good. Nice. So we have all this, and we have a link, and I will take this link to the Steam Store. So you can get this one of three ways. You can go to the Steam Store, local hobby shop, or it comes with the new Habu. The Habu, which we didn't even show a video of, but um, everything's in here. So it says plan and release date August thirteenth. The game plans to release in six days, but it, there is no price, right? I'm not seeing a price. Yeah, I think that's that's the big question. Okay, Jason, I'm going to jump over to the airfield with you. Oh wait, that's not how that works. And. Um, I'm going to go PM someone and see if I can get them to reply. Can I do that? Awesome. View. Look at who's flying with you. Is it Hello Allen? Uh, it's yeah, Hello Allen there, and then uh, SC. Man, I'm having. Is, some... uh, it's HF. He nice. likes his. He likes his letters. So we're hanging out together. I don't know what are we flying. Is this a cap? It's a low this, wing. This it's is not extra. working for me. Three hundred L. I can't. Uh, I can't see anybody. Yeah. Flying. So that airplane from Hello Allen, I'm seeing it fly around, but you're seeing it stuck on the runway. Yeah. I I can actually see him flying it around. Hmm. His right flyer. Well, that doesn't do anything for the for the show. I've been seeing people fly around the whole time. You know what? Hey, uh, can you tell? Can you chat everyone and say we're about to restart? I'm going to turn my whole sim off. Turn the whole, okay, uh, I don't remember how to chat. How do I chat? Um, uh, SC, you know how to chat? I bet that's it. Oh, oh, it's not, it's not SC. It's planes, archery, table tennis. It's gone now. Um, the okay. whole, my real flight's been running for three days. <laughs> Holy so, cow, straight. You know what? It's never stayed on this long before. <laughs> Woo! All right, well, we'll be back up momentarily. Yep, yep, it's firing up right now. Yeah, well, I do have a new airplane in the house, but I'm not going to show it yet. I'm waiting for parts, and it's in another room, and it's too difficult. So I'll have it for a show coming up sometime in the near future. Hosting. That on the screen is Fast Sports version of the right flyer. Yeah, it is. He was uh, really doing some aggressive maneuvers with it, wasn't he? Let's see if I can smoke us out. <laughs> right, is it back up? Yeah. That was quick, dude. Oh, and I felt somebody come on right there. Oh, oh, oh. All right. I am official. Our real flight virtual fly. I am almost in. Oh, I'm in. That was it. It was just on too long. Nice. That's uh, interesting. Computer needs to rest like everybody else, man. Wow. Let me go to chase cam. Let me land this big boy. View. I'm going to go to chase and I'm going to try to chase you. Camera you can't part. really chase in the virtual field or in the non-virtual field, right? I don't know. Oh, you're right. You're right. I could change. Uh, I could change to a different field. I uh, wasn't that on your. Uh, you had like some pro tips or something about hosting or doing something, and you were like, "Do it in a 3D field." Yeah, this thing. And then what do you do? Cool. You put the virtual fly on a photorealistic field. It's just like me to do <laughs> such a thing. Flatland. Oh flat. man, yeah. So we'll do this for uh, the Horizon RC Fest, maybe Nall in the fall, right? 
Yeah, I oh. need to I need to talk to Rob, make sure that's cool. I'm sure it is. And I already mentioned it to uh my folks over at uh Horizon about not in the fall. Yeah, because why not hang out virtually if we can't be there together on the field, right? There we go. Very nice. Let me jump back over to this. Throttle, throttle. Uh, I don't know if anyone else does this, but I've done it my whole career. I get my fingers too far in the well. Uh, are, are you a thumber or, or two fingers? I'm a thumber, but it reminds me of when we're flying winch sailplanes, like an unlimited at the Nats. Uh, when you do a winch launch, you kind of climb, 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 you know, on the winch, and then you dive down and for like a second and then yank up and you do a zoom and it's like a slingshot launch or something they call it i think they call it the bucket or something and uh like you're going deep in the bucket so that's what when your fingers get stuck in your wells there you're going deep in the bucket you look at hf we need to have hf on the on the podcast he's in the chat and, uh, you know, if somehow, I don't know. Yeah, i got to work on getting audio on my computer so I could do microphone and stuff and chat with people in-game at some point. And we might be able to to stream that audio. Right. If people were talking and hanging out, that might be more, uh, you know, different, interesting, more you people know, chatting. You know, we've been doing outside movies at night, and we've been on all of the Disney films. And uh, not Disney. Um, anyway, we just watched the Cars movie. Uh -huh. Pixar. Looks just like Cars. Dude. Yep. Yeah, you're right. It's a good race racetrack. Oh, people showing up. I changed my view to Chase. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't remember how to change stuff. Uh, view? Camera position, camera type. There you go. <sighs> oh yeah, we're Red Bull and race course. This thing. What? What if it was possible to have a virtual competition? Well, that was. I was having like the a drone discussion. Race you got well, we were talking about having a virtual uh, scale show, like the way Jim Burke competes, except online. Uh -huh. For, so we're in your cab right now, or your cockpit. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just playing around with and coordinated rudder and elevator. What would be awesome is if you could look out your wing and uh, become like a scale pilot. Whoa. Scale. Yeah. You do it in the VR version. Yeah. It could, but I wouldn't last very long. Hey, by the way, sidebar completely unrelated. Uh, Truman has the Oculus Quest, and he's been wearing his glasses in them. And he had a huge circle in the middle, and a and a rub from the circle all the way to the top. And we ordered this plastic cleaner for watches for watch yeah. faces. And I said, dude, it might ruin them, and it probably won't work. And in about <laughs> four minutes, I had taken his lenses and made them clean. They were perfect. holy cow! It's pretty awesome. That's nice. Good pro tip there. How to fix yeah, your yeah. stuff. Woo! View camera type. Chase. Oh look, I'm gonna go cockpit view camera. Oh, type. booyah! This plane is like twitchy. All um, right, this will not let me go cockpit. So right. I'm going to say, look at me, view camera type. Oh, but I can do it this way. Of course you can, because this is how you battle. Oh, so you can look out the <laughs> yeah, cockpit, guns turned on. <laughs> yeah. but I'm pretty sure that if you had, uh, if you had the buttons mapped, you could look over the wing tip and all that. Uh huh. Yeah, there is definitely more to the simulator than I think a lot of people end up using. If, you, if we just spent some time and dialing in 
some of the hot keys and things. I think you could make it do more than you might think. I'm on your tail, brother. Are you? Oh, collision! Collision! <laughs> <laughs> Holy all cow. Right, we're all taking off at once. Fast at full throttle. Boop, boom. Is that people joining? That's what that sound is? I guess so. And you, I do know that the more people in a room, the more people should get in the room, you know, they oh. see the action. Uh huh. This is pretty awesome. Boys will be boys. Oh, I'm going to try to chase somebody now. All right, who can I chase? Billy Hale, where are you at? It just reminded me, like, trying to find you. I haven't flown or played, like, any kind of fighter pilot game in a long time. I played War Thunder every night for about the last eight months. Nice. Uh, but not flying. I was in the tanks. But yeah. lately, uh, uh, Red Dead Redemption came out with a new update, so I've been playing that at night. And I'm not All getting right. my time that I used to. I only get about an hour a day now. I'm on your butt. Boom! <laughs> Holy cow. No, no flying over the pits. You know the rules. Let's see if we can scrape the canopy. Well, how long, Jim, is the virtual fly going on for? Well, we're definitely going on this month, and uh, I'm hopefully going to keep it rolling. So, did I quit talking? Was I busy flying? No, you're flying. I'm yeah. just asking questions. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, we're definitely going this month, and, and I'm hoping to get next, next month. And I'd really love to get some. I know they're super busy. Uh, they had the Axial uh, Rock Crawler event at Horizon. And th we're about to have, Jason, the live stream from that uh, European event. Uh-huh. And so yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I got the approval to uh, simulcast the live stream, and which is a big deal. I mean, it's a big deal. And so the goal will be to figure out what days it's going to be live streaming and I won't live stream all day long. Like they will be, but I will dip in and out of the event. Get some and, of it. Yeah. Cool. You know, I'm sure everybody's had enough of me. Let's go look. Hey, at SC says he also, uh, prefers war thunder for tanks. And he says, what's your favorite tank in war ah, thunder? All right. Well, I have strong opinions on this. I could write a whole <laughs> multiple articles about this. I've played all the, all the uh, trees as they call them. That would be U S Russian, Germany, France, Chinese. I don't own every tank or I haven't played every tank, but I've played most tanks. And so I got all the way up to over seven. And then when we started getting to modern 1960s tanks, it was just too much. I didn't enjoy it at all anymore. And so I went back to USA 1940s tanks. And so that would be a 2.3 battle ranking. And the M22, my favorite tank of all time is the M22. My uh, next two or equal, then, equal to tank is the uh, RU tank, which is I just like a fast tank with a big gun. I don't care if there's no armor. I like to run as fast as I can and broadside people. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so these big boys will line up and then people will like stand back and then they'll lob at, uh, rounds at each other. But I will just race right past you. And before you can even know I'm there, poo poo. <laughs> I should start shooting videos because some of my stuff is pretty enjoyable. Let me change the view. He says M22. <laughs> Yeah, M22, um, it's probably the most, I'm not going to say it's OP, but it's the most enjoyable. And it's what I do at night just to uh, turn everything off. Yeah. Ow, boom. 
I'm just I'm, kamikaze and running. I'm on HF right now. Who's HF? Do we know? Uh, somebody said, oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's Plains Archery Table Tennis in the chat. So while we're watching, I'll tell everyone my COVID water drinking story. Um, my daughter has been working at a summer camp and they've taken all the precautions. But the last day of camp, she came home and she went to bed and didn't wake up. Well, she did eventually wake up, but she stayed in bed a long time. But she had a 103 degree temperature. Ooh. She's throwing up. Uh, we take her to the doctor up the street. He gives her a COVID test and tells her she, she that he thinks she has COVID. She comes home that night. And uh, the backstory is I drink out of this silver cup that you see right here. <laughs> I and can I, see where this is going. I dented the bottom and so it would always tip over. And I ordered the exact cup. And that night I grabbed my cup and ate dinner, but I noticed that the water was warm and didn't have ice in it. And I remember thinking, man, I thought I've just put ice in this cup. So when dinner was over, I said to my wife, whose cup is this? And she goes, that's Maeve's sick cup. That's what she's been drinking out of while she's been sick. <laughs> Holy crap. And Jason, you know me, I'm, oh. I, I'm a bit of a germaphobe. And uh, yeah. so if you tell me I've been drinking out of the COVID cup, I got to tell you, I was a little taken aback. <laughs> What'd you do? Well, I didn't talk for three hours. I was like, <laughs> I need to remain calm. So I just kept my mouth shut. And the the great part is Angela works for Vanderbilt now university and at the hospital. And so I guess they put it on the fast track and instead of waiting for two weeks to find out if we had COVID, uh, we got it back the next day and it came back negative. Negative. Yeah. Good. Thank Holy goodness. Crap, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You've been like, no. The other thing I'm dealing with is I, I pronged my uh, little pinky finger on the truck I tried to throw the cover over the truck as hard as I could, and I, I didn't realize under the cover was the big metal edge that hangs out over the window. Ooh, okay. I must have bent the pinky backwards. I must have, like, really did it. So that was about two months ago, and the pinky is okay. I can play the guitar and type and all that stuff, but it it's crooked. <laughs> <laughs> it's crooked, and I'm scared. I've got to go to the doctor. i got to get a doctor to x-ray it, and they're probably going to say... Let us hit it with this mallet and straighten it out, you know. I don't know. Holy cow. And meanwhile, I called them and I said, so what's the what's the COVID situation down there? Like, oh, yeah, we're giving the COVID test out in the parking lot. And I'm like, oh, that sounds great. That's just <laughs> want to go there. So, Crazy, man. Hopefully they don't have to, like, break it or something to put it back to normal. I've already gone to there where they're going to tell me they've got to do that. And I'm just going to say, do it. Just do it right now. Don't even yeah. knock me out. Just snap it right <laughs> in front of me. We'll see. It could just be swelling or it's probably messed up. I'd, I'd have to have somebody do one of those. Like, all right, we're going to do it in five, four, you know, before right. they get down there. So you're not you know, expecting it. it just camera happens. shook when you made that noise. It was a great. I, I think effect. I hit the computer. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the special effects now. Well, I've had the look at menu down. Practical. There <laughs> All right. We're going to watch a little more flying and I reckon we'll get out of here. Right? We got, oh wait, that's, those are not users. Look at. Luke flight. says, how much does real flight trainer cost? We're trying to figure it out, oh, man. I, you know what? I can't send that PM because every screen on my computer is working right uh, now. Well, it'll be out in a few days, right? Like five days. A week or so. And then, uh, then we'll know the price and it'll be up there. And this is not, yeah, this isn't the F3K World Champion. I don't know if Jim wrote that or not. Oh, he did write I'm... F3K World Champion. No, I'll that is that. That's a guy named Henry yeah. from uh, Germany. Awesome dude. Oh. Uh, Henry, I the... Henry, I apologize. That's my fault. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm the F3K National Champion for 2020. I just won that a week ago. Um. Not the same thing as the world's though. Hey the Jason, why don't you get an F3K plane out and show us your stuff? Do they have an F3K plane? No, I don't you see? I don't think they do. We have cell planes. I don't think there's any DLGs in here at all. If there's not. Oh, there is. There's a fling hand launch. What do I have to do? Oh yeah. Okay. It's rotor elevator only. So kind of not the same thing. All right. Catch your thermal quick. It looks like. Uh, I can get. About 10, 12 seconds of flight time before we land. You want me to move us to the thermal field? 
No, nah, it's whatever. They have thermals at the thermal field. Well, the thermals would be funner. More fun. Be cooler if you did. All right, let me let me find it. I want to see if we have anything better because rudder elevator only is kind of sluggish. Sierra Nevada. What's it called? I know they have a sailplane. I've been there. Thermal Park. There it is. Hey, everyone online, if you're listening. Uh, sorry, I'm about to change. I just ran out of water. Boop, 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 boop. All right, there they are with arrows, just like right. in real life. Jets, 3D planes, and freestyle. Man, you should be on real flight with us. We're flying all kinds of stuff right now. Holy smoke. Wow. That was a launch and a half. <laughs> I'd like to, I'm going to go to gadgets and see if I can say how high you are. Oh, that was a launch right there, man. All right, everyone. Here's his uh, transmitter so you can see the national champions. <laughs> I will change that as soon do as this. it goes on. Do this. Uh, bariometer, will that tell us how high you are? I, that'll tell you if you're climbing or descending, not how high. Okay. I can't, I don't, there's a bunch of arrows around. I can't tell what's what here, but. Maybe Let's you need to get in a chase or something. Okay. Well, we'll leave this uh, this variometer on for a second. Oh, I don't see it. Okay, I guess I can't see it. You could. Yeah, see you would there. have to turn your your own on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Timer, heads up display. Is it beeping at all? Because I'm calling. Yeah, it's going. If I did, if I descend, it'll go. Is this giving us altitude? I don't <laughs> think it is. Yeah, there's decent thermals here. Let me go on chase. This is cool. Well, you can manually change the speed of the thermals and other parameters of the wind. Nice. I've never messed with thermal stuff in the sim. Ah, oh, that was awesome. I could see the lift, like, rise the tail. That looked really close to how it looks in real life. Well, you know what, Jason? This is the most people we've had in here so far, so it looks like we need to get a daily time and just call it our job. What do you think? There you go. And we'll get your audio going. Yeah. All right. I'm going to relaunch. Are you really ready? Boom! Dude, that is like, that's very fast. Like, But it's similar to how we winch launch unlimited four-meter planes kind of go up like that and then zoom with that much energy it's nuts it's so much fun i guess i'm gonna start low though because the trick is to be low and then climb back up all right i just lost all that energy why don't you verbalize what you're doing so uh... well right now we're relaunching so I'm going to I'm gonna come down low, but I think what I'm looking for is – this is a little bit different because I can't really bank hard because of the – this is just rudder elevator only. But once I get down to kind of more normal speed here after losing all this altitude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like flying along, and then you kind of look for an increase in energy of the airplane or the tail to rise, and that's how you know you're in a thermal. And you kind of turn in it and climb and, and you know pull back slightly, but you're just you're really managing the the energy and attitude of the airplane. Oh, I'm having an idea. As the air flies or as the air rises, your plane is gonna climb right in that. What's your idea? I'm going to contact somebody and suggest you be an instructor for uh, the F three K section of real flight. Hmm. Because that doesn't exist, as far as I know. It doesn't exist. This is as close as you can get with the flingy. Now, the arrows are telling you everything, and I'm wondering if there is any lift near the ground and if you need to move some lift to the ground. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I'm definitely not seeing any here. I mean, that's pretty low, but... Let me go to follow. I'm gonna... It is kind of... It's a little weird. If I stay up high now or up higher than I was, it might be better. More air. Oh, okay.
I'm I'm uh, level 100 on War Thunder, by the way. Oh, sweet! It's the highest level you can be. And so I I don't know. I would say if you're not a sailplane pilot, and you think this is boring right here, I mean it's not. It's definitely not the same as real life, um, because the the thermals move with the wind and they drift and it, it's more of a like a an art form in a way to kind of predict and and find where the thermals are here they're they're basically in the same place all the time so it's it's fairly easy um in real life it's much more of a challenge and you know building your skills on how to read the air to know that okay on this tree line there's a field in front of it it's got a bunch of sun on it it's going to heat up that grass um, and it's going to kick off thermals and they're going to drift into the wind and kind of hit the tree line and then they're going to pop and kind of lift and go straight up off of the trees because the tree are going to separate it and uh, make it climb from there. So if I go over there, there's a good chance of finding a thermal. Um, so there's just, there's a whole lot more to it than just flying an airplane. And uh, it, that's, I guess one of the reasons why it's one of my favorite things to do is it's, there's a lot more to it than you might think. Oh, there's another. Uh, there's another flingy right in my view. There he goes. And then to be able to challenge yourself to, to see how you know how high you can get or how long you can fly or, or how low you can be and climb back up. And, and uh, that's just practicing out by yourself. And then when you get to, for me, it really contests are so much fun. And, and it doesn't matter your skill level. It doesn't matter if you're a top pilot or if you're just starting out and you've never been to one, like there's so much you can learn at a contest and you'll grow your skills and uh, you know, you'll see how other people do things and fly and how they read air. And, and it's just one of the just most fun things you can do in the hobby, in my opinion. So definitely encourage you guys to get out to a contest if you can. We will be having one here locally in Tullahoma, Tennessee uh, at the end of August or not the end of August, um, October. I think it's the middle of October, like 10, 11, 12, somewhere around there. If you're in the Tennessee area and, and uh, can travel there, it'd be cool to come hang out. I'd be happy to talk to you and and uh, show you what we do. Hey, Jason, um, if you would ask the live listeners which field we should turn it back on to and leave it on after we're out of here. Okay. Uh, I have to go back and remember how to chat. Do, do, do. All right, how can T, we do that? T for talk. That's what it is on War Thunder. Whoops. No, that changes views for me. Uh, you can also go to the slope soaring mountain list. Yeah, sloping is really fun too. It's a whole different ball game. All right. Uh, okay, I will find it one of these days. All right, Lane Walker, we're looking at you. So the scheme on this airplane, I... I thought, oh, that uh, looks like some stock thing. But then I was on uh, Flying Giants, and the guy who built this airplane and that trim scheme, it, he's standing there next to it. And I'm like, how weird is that, that I've flown the airplane and the scheme before I saw the real thing? I don't know. Maybe that's not weird at all. Uh -huh. All right. I got your question asked. It's amazing how many people just fell in here. So, like, I'll get in here in the morning. There might be some folks flying, but then it'll just go quiet. And cool. I guess all it takes is activity. Yeah. I can't read these. Eli Field, Sod Farm. They're saying Sod Farm. Sod Farm. Okay. Is the general consensus. So, when I first flew, I was so scared of crashing and, like, hitting people, which I almost did once. Um, I would only fly to Sod Farm, which was a lot more of a pain in the butt than you would think. Yeah. To get there and get permission and get home. And boy, my wife, we just had babies or I had our first baby. And my wife was not happy. She was like, we have babies to take care of, Jim. You got to quit <laughs> flying these RC planes. Yeah. Uh, Luke says, can you spectate me? Yeah. You got it, man. You know, uh, what I might do is do this uh, when it's not the Thursday show. When we just, uh, when we're just out and about. All right, everyone up on deck, we have a demo noontime flight by Luke Street <laughs> yes. RC. 
Luke comes nice. to us from Orlando, Canada. Canada? What am I, a presidential candidate? Oh, I went political. I'm sorry, everyone. That's so wrong. <laughs> that was a neutral political comment brought to you by <laughs> and approved by Luke Stroke, RC. All right, we're I'm going sure. heli time now. I'm, sure I'm not saying that right. Whoa, I haven't flown a helicopter in heli Peanut butter heli time. We need a third guest in here, man. Uh, Where, Where's Nikolai when you need him? Woo! Here he okay. comes. Long, straight to the camera. Slap, yeah, a, slap us in the face with your rudder. <laughs> I've seen it happen. That was the old days. Oh, Blaine Sherry is here. A little squirt of smoke there. Oh, everybody's, uh, it's, uh, hey, man, we can have a uh, mass hover. Mass hover? So right, if, you, if, if you don't know what a mass hover is, this was invented. Now, I think I invented it. And maybe Airplane Blaine and invented it. It's hard to say. But as far as 40 size go, all my events for 16 years, we have a mass hover at 12.04. You get grouped up in a pack. And then when I feel like everyone's suitably packed up and I'll be like, you come over and you bring it on down. This is looking pretty good. I count down on the PA three, two, one. And then you all full throttle to the sky in a vertical drag race. Three, yep. two, one, go, go, go. Luke Strick, you gotta go up, man. There you go. Oh yeah. I, I thought you were telling us about it, not calling it. Yeah, no, I was going to do it. All right. So we're going to do a mass hover. This is crazy. <laughs> it's on video too. Every, okay. Everybody got to go, go out from the camera just a hair. And, uh, and we're going to start hovering over the runway, all the planes together. Wow. All right, I'm hovering. Hover. You know, I have debated about doing Nashboro online since it's canceled. Uh -huh. Yep. All right. That's good, Flavo. You're looking good. Uh, let's get it tightened up there, Luke. Let's get a hover on lane. You look good. Getting in there, playing Sherry. All right. All right. We got one more if you can do it. And I'm going to count one. I'm going to count down and we're going to go straight up. And then we're going to do spins all the way down. Three, two, one, go, 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 up, up, up. I think Maybe. I'm the only one that can hear. <laughs> There's probably a lag, yeah. Well, they must hear because they are all packed up. Wow. Oh, man, you got bit. <laughs> oh, we got to do this with mics on, on the... <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I got to figure out how to, how to get us vocally in the game and then stream that out. I need to tell you, as a pro bro, back in the day, that was like one of the most fun things that we did at those events was mass hovers, man. Because it, it was just like, just imagine like 40, 50 plus glow engines on 40 size planes just screaming. Just like that. Right on the deck. Yeah, it was so much fun. And the, I think the, I used to always count. So I would, I would get everyone packed up and then I'd have that mic and I would run in the 100 degree weather counting airplanes. Yeah. And I think the most we had was around 48. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's, like it's so good. Horizon Hobby's going live right now. Wow, this is awesome, man. This is uh, this is as cool as uh, as we've been on the show in a while. Jason, <laughs> come on. Tomorrow we're going to go live again. How about it? Sounds good to me. Tomorrow's Friday. We'll do it like before it's the end of the day, you know, while we're still in the meeting. Yeah, today. I've I've got one uh, meeting at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Okay. From 2 to about 2.15, 2 2.30. Hey, everyone, I don't know what you're doing with your life at this point, but if you're going to be around tomorrow, uh, we'll try to announce it. I may take that feature, Jason, and like make it a general feature listing time. So we're going to be online. Uh -huh. so yeah, we'll cool. be like, hey, today we'll be online at this time and we'll get in here and hang out. I feel nice. like I feel like we're not working, but I guess it is our job. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is. I mean, this is totally. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, and we're podcasting right now. That's that's yeah. part of the job for sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's you must be having a good job when you feel guilty for doing your job because it feels like you're not doing a job. There you go. Man. I love yeah. it. This is awesome. Yeah. Let me take a screenshot, everybody. Uh, let me let me go make some magic down here. I'll save it for uh, the next announcement. OK, so I'm set. Yeah, that's good. Awesome, awesome. I'll just keep... Oh, I'm going to take another screenshot. While we're at. I wish I could just hit a button. Oh, that's pretty good. 
Well, we have a video. I can steal it from the video. I can't really oh, okay. fly. I guess I could fly. Look at everybody grouped up. <laughs> it's, it's the tightest mass hover I've ever seen. Man, I should I should tell the bros about this and see if they're into it. <laughs> I'm going to steal a screenshot off of this. Maybe I'll turn it into like a GIF or something. Oops, I fell. Everybody's flying that same airplane. That's super interesting. The Jay Stussy airplane. Yeah. Which you can find a link to in the uh, section if you're watching and you're like, what's going on? I don't even know what software they're on. Go to RC Groups at the very top and you'll see the virtual fly. And I have links to real flight. I have links to airplanes that we suggest. Um, I have links to, this, to the live feed, all the stuff. Very awesome. Yeah. Well, I do have an article I really, 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 really want to write. I guess I could write it tomorrow. As he says, he likes to fly the blimp so others can fly their planes into me or land on top of it. He also says he can get his F-27 to 280 miles per hour. He modified it and put a turbine jet engine in it. Holy crap. And real flight? Can I, yeah. can, I, can I jump along for a ride? Who said this? Dude, SC, yeah. Okay. F FC, I'm S going to. FC in the chat. That's just nuts. Okay. I don't. FC, are you online? It's SC. I don't know if he's in right now. I don't see that either. I see Gary S. Dummy. Well, I'm I looking at the, uh, the, the live yeah, hangout the live chat. On, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to uh, get in the cockpit and then like somehow get that speed somehow so we could read the speed and go on a high yeah, speed run. I think we got a whole new thing going on here. Um, are we at the AMA field? Because it feels like we are. I don't know where you're at. No, where is it? This is mountains. AMA's in Indiana. It just they looks like, no but you know where it's flat, and then you see a house randomly on the horizon. <laughs> yeah, what it looked like. And and yeah. I remember when I first went there in the early days of my obsession, I was like, maybe I could live in that house, and I could yeah. live at the AMA. I'm sure I could probably pull. There it was off. a house for sale right there at the edge of the property. How awesome would that be? And they were like, we should buy it and then use it for like an Airbnb rental yeah. for all the events that oh, happen there. God. You know, It'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, and, and be. So killer to have a place right there on the field. Well, Luke got his wish because I haven't looked at anyone else since he asked me to do that. <laughs> well, I don't know if everyone else has had a good, uh, as good of a time as me, but I have certainly had a good time. That was awesome. I had no idea. I told Jason, I said, hey, man, um, I'm, I want to get in the virtual fly. And if no one's there, we just won't worry about it. And then yeah. here we are. Packed up. All the peoples. You know what I yeah. may do? Uh, it's Thursday, so Horizon's supposed to have their real flight chat. I don't know if that's happening right now or not, but if it is, I might jump over there and uh, start live streaming that as well just to have some good real flight stuff. Yeah, copy that. You know, I've had my volume muted this whole time. Okay, so the big question, everyone, is uh, let's say that we were to be on tomorrow. We should bring on a special flying guest, and uh, we should figure out who that is. In fact, um, maybe uh, who's the uh, – what's the user again? SC? SC, man, do you want to come on and we can talk about your modification on your plane? There you go. Oh, there are people in voice chat in the game. Once I turn my volume up, I can hear him. I'm hearing. What am I hearing? Is that? Oh, I can hear me. So somehow I'm going through voice chat, maybe from your system. Into the game. Into the game. Like I just heard it come through my speakers. Is, is my my voice going seconds. to the game? Uh, I don't know. I just muted it again. Uh, SC says, "What time, Jim?" Uh, I think two is too late. So let's do it at one. One CST, Jason. How's that work for you? I can oh, do one tomorrow. I just yeah, have. Yeah, uh, you got that two o'clock, right? Two, so I could do it for you know 30, 45 minutes. SSC, if if it's better earlier or later, like in the morning, maybe. 
Well, you just you're talking to him right now. SC uh, is in the morning sometime good. Let's say like ten. Tomorrow's Friday. Do I have anything? I don't think I do. Yeah, I want to see that 280 mile an hour thing. And then what I'll do, SC, when we get the time, I will then uh, post it in that thread and say, everyone meet us then. And here's some cool video from uh, yesterday. I'll probably go and chop this up a little bit. No, I'll, I'll uh, this will go on YouTube and then I'll, I'll, I'll do a link to when it started, when we started. Uh, yeah. So we're in the central time zone. CST. Chicago, Nashville. So we can do it in the morning or then whenever. Let if, we do it, if we do it at yeah. one, we'll only have an hour. Lane Walker, you're up. Ladies and gentlemen, from Nacogdoches, Oklahoma, Lane Walker. Lane the plane walking Walker. <laughs> He's a phenom. I think you should put that in the article too, is that you may, you, you know, you may be spectated upon right. for a live and audience they, kind of thing too, you know, just demos say, by everyone in like, the yeah. live. I want to, I want to show off for some people, you know, we, we really encourage everyone to fly the same plane. Yeah. Lane's <laughs> wagging his tail at us. Okay, Wait. it says, gotcha, Central, pick a time, I will be there. Let's say 10 CST, 10 a.m. in the morning. 10 a.m. Central time tomorrow. Lane let's, Lane, let's see you snap a wing and do a one-wing fly. So I got invited to the Horizon uh, online piece like this, and I did. Yeah. I snapped a wing, and I flew that airplane around with one wing for the longest I've ever, ever flown a <laughs> one wing there. I was, I landed it a couple of times and got back in the air. I was like, is anyone seeing this? Nikolai says, I'll hop on tomorrow if I don't go flying. All right. So CS is good. Or SC is good at 10. Um, he didn't say that was, this was Nikolai. What are y'all streaming on? We do, we do it through uh, Google Hangouts, but it'll be on our YouTube channel. RCG videos. And if you subscribe to RCG videos on YouTube, it'll uh, ping you when we go live. I can fly before two-ish. So it's SC, this is 10 a.m. Friday. I will show you how to set up your F-27, 280 mile per hour level flight. Nice. All right, He's man. in. Um, I guess we don't need a... There you go, Lane. Lane's... Well, you lost a... Looks like a elevator at it. Well, you, you got know, it. That's nice and linear. <laughs> Um, I don't guess we need a video on you, uh, SC. We could do that. So uh, if you have a video on your computer, I can hook you up in advance and uh, get you on the screen. But not I guess it is necessary. We got to hear your is voice. Is there a way to talk to us? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna work on a microphone. I mean, I don't know if we're doing it. It's kind of weird because we're using computers to do the hangout. If if you can and, do but, a Google Hangout, I can bring you in. But and then while streaming the simulator, which also has audio, so I don't know if I can do both. But how can he talk to us? Yeah, it would be cool if we could get the live chat from Real Flight into the stream somehow. But you know, I don't we, know if that's possible. We need CS's dang, why don't I say CS? We need SC's email address or some way to contact him. So I could send him a link to the to the. Hangout. He has he has no mic. Oh, he just said I have no mic. Not a problem. Nikolai, I'm going to invite you as a third guest, so we'll have your head up in the window too, if you can do it. I know you might not be able to. All right, Jason, it is three thirteen, and I have one more project of the day that will allow me to do this thing tomorrow. So I'm going to jump out of here. How much more fun can we have, really, you know? There you go. Yeah, man. Good times. All right. Thanks, everybody, in this uh, live fly. This is what I envisioned. I can't believe it actually came true. Pretty cool. Thank you, Jason. Uh, congrats on being the national. I'm sorry, the... Uh, the world, not the national champion. <laughs> and I will remember, remember to change that. Yeah, let's get that edited. I don't want to be And big apologies. Yeah, sorry, that's just me typing. <laughs> I was not meant to offend 
All right, I'm going to be signing off. Thanks, everyone. Go check us out. Um, this video will be live if you want to see it on our on uh, YouTube. And I guess what I'll do is drop it into the feature that I uh, created about hanging out today. And so I'll say, hey, look at the fun we had. And you can go see yourself fly. All right, Jason, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, all right, people. Peace out. I might as well go uh, full on fancy here. Here we go. Simmer down now.